Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. I am Noemi, I came from France and today it's my lecture presentation and I'm going to introduce you the business strategy of Guerlain Company. So I'm gonna start with my introduction, then I'm going to talk about the business strategy of Guerlain and finally I will give my recommendations. I choose this company because I come from France and I would like to talk about an international and French company which represents the French how now. And Guerlain seems to be perfect because it's the first fragrance company so there is a lot to talk about. As a woman of course I like cosmetics but I also care about the social and environmental responsibilities of company and Guerlain is very committed through its environmental or social actions for women, for example. The company was created in 1828 in Paris by Pierre-François Pascal Guerlain. At the beginning, the company was specialized in fragrance only, but then the company expanded into skincare and makeup industry. The HQ is still in Paris, but there are also 26 subsidiaries in all over the world so that Guerlain has a global presence in more than 80 countries. Five generations of Guerlain have led the company over the years. In 1994, the family business has been purchased by a conglomerate group, LVMH, that means Louis Vuitton Moetenis. The new CEO of Guerlain is Véronique Courtois, since last November, she worked in Dior before, so she could really impact the Guerlain strategy in the future. You have here a global overview of Guerlain's best products and the three persons in charge of each category. The most important category for Guerlain is fragrance, and Thierry Vasser creates the different juice. So you can take a look. Now, in terms of performance, uh, I just found LVMH performance because Guerlain is a part of this conglomerate. But as we can see in the following table, the perfume and cosmetics industry are in a very good trend. Um, indeed, the sales have increased of 9% compared to the previous year. And the main important key drivers uh, for Guerlain comes from skincare category uh, with Abbey Royal Range and makeup with Rouge Rouget, the new personalized lipstick. Uh, as you already see, Asia represents 40% of the sales in cosmetic and perfume, so it's the first market. And then Europe is the second. Now let's talk about the most important parts, business strategy analysis. So let's go. So firstly, the main competitors of Guerlain are Dior, Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, Lancôme and Givenchy. All of these brands are luxurious French brands with expensive prices and of course high quality and these products are only available in selective distribution and these brands target women from upper class and age from 30 years old. Now let's talk about distribution strategy because distribution is the key in the current strategy because as a luxurious brand Gala wants to have full control of all places where its products are putting forward so that Guerlain adopts a selective distribution strategy. Then you can find Guerlain products in Guerlain boutiques, in retailer, in perfumeries, and of course online. And I'm going to develop the two first ways of distribution because it's very important. And the first one, Guerlain boutiques. Um, in these boutiques, customers can find premium services available in Guerlain boutique only. Uh, for instance, customers can create their own perfumes or they can find exclusive collection. Now I am going to introduce the Guerlain strategy with Sephora uh, because Sephora is the biggest business partner of Guerlain. Sephora is the equivalent of Olive & Young in South Korea. So Guerlain integrates Sephora to its whole strategy. For example, Guerlain creates new products exclusively for Sephora. Uh, for example, the mini terracotta which was launched in March this year or mini perfumes as well. Guerlain can also give Sephora exclusivities, for example with Christmas sets, and that means that these products are available in Sephora only. Guerlain also participates to Sephora events, um, such as this year with Woman Day, uh, with the participation of the model Natalia Viadinova, 
or in-store activation, which is a very good way to promote Guerlain's visibility in-store and of course drive sales. In order to crowding out competition, Guerlain has adopted a strategy of differentiation and I identify six key factors of success that allow Guerlain to create his blue ocean. Firstly and obviously Guerlain DNA. Thanks to its Guerlinade, uh, la Guerlinade is a perfume base made from raw materials still present for five generations. Bergamot, jasmine, rose, iris, vanilla and tonka bean. So this in unique creation makes Guerlain different. And French Hauno from generations to generations and Kaliti are also a part of Guerlain DNA. Then the unique customer experience thanks to the beauty and high quality of its point of sales due to distribution selective. And the Guerlain Perfumer Boutique concept also offers a unique customer experience uh, with, for example, digital factory consultations. Guerlain innovates a lot through digital technology, for example, by giving its customers the possibility of tracing the ingredients of its products or through the Alpha Play platform that allows to listen stories of olfactory memories. Guerlain also wants to make its consumers unique, so it innovates in the personalization of products, for example, Rouge case. Guerlain is very committed for the environment and sustainability with the objective to be carbon neutral by 2028. Guerlain has also created new eco-responsible packaging and supports the development of bees. And the communication strategy of Guerlain is to not using brand ambassador in order to that all women can identify themselves to the brand. And finally, Guerlain is a responsible brand thanks to the support to charitable associations, uh, for instance with Cancer Charity, and Guerlain is partnering with people who share their values, for example Angelina Jolie. You can see here Guerlain's business model which summarizes the various and key points I mentioned before. Now I'm going to introduce my recommendations. This brand was born in 1828, so it could give an dated image and moreover the core target is more than 30 years old, so in order to appeal to younger women, Guerlain could keep launching mini projects uh, in partnership with Sephora. And because mini projects are less expensive, so the brand can recruit younger people, especially if the distribution is in Sephora because Sephora customers are young. The and brand could also use young models to promote this Guerlain new product. Launch a new product of its famous Montgerlain range. And maybe consumers can be confused because years after years, the range is becoming bigger. As you can see on the picture, you have Eau de Parfum Intense, Eau de Parfum, Eau de Parfum Floral. So instead of launching a new juice of a pre existing range, the creation of a new range could be a good idea to create more visibility. Finally, Guerlain could enter the South Korea market thanks to a new partnership with Olive and Young because, as you already know, the cosmetics market is booming in Asia, so that Asia is the first market for LVMH Group. In this way, the Asian market can increase the group's sales. Moreover, customers in South Korea love luxury cosmetics and natural products, so Guerlain meets perfectly to their expectations. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. If you have any questions, please let me know.